Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm introducing um, a new tool, which is print uh, multiple files together. So <clears throat> before uh, I I had a problem with printing files, and uh, that problem actually uh, was because a lot of files they were like um, scattered among multiple folders. So I have to open each folder separately and then I have to print all of them uh, together, for example, because uh, I have like a printer and I need to print them on a letterhead. So I created just uh, a simple uh, word print because at the beginning I was printing word files only. But later on, I just uh, expanded the functionality of the program and I made it uh, capable of printing multiple files. So this is just actually a, a simple uh, uh, UI that you can use to print files. So uh, the method that I was using before, it was like right click and then use the print option. Or you can like select all the files and right click, try to print, but the problem that they are like different. So they have different uh, types. So you will not be able to print them together. You have actually to select that one and then print and then and so on. So. That was actually a problem and waste of time that we are, I'm trying to like print uh, one by one and especially when they are in multiple uh, folders. So with uh, the program actually that we have, <clears throat> you can uh, just add uh, some files that you want, for example, to add like this. and it is gonna get all of them so instead of just making this one by one just print and print and so on it will get them printing all of them so here when you, if you want to choose one file or if you want to choose uh more than one file here are the number of copies how many copies they want to print of each document that you have and what is the delay so let's say that you want five seconds delay and you just press print so this is will be printed actually it will give the order after uh five seconds so normally uh right click you can delete for example selected item so it will open like this So let's say that uh, we want to print them after uh, five seconds. So actually it uses the default printer and the default printer you can actually access from the printers and uh, scanners here. So if you have this option, this means that Windows will manage what is your default printer. And actually I don't have uh, a printer. So I'm using like a virtual printer, which is Adobe PDF. So if you remove this uh, mark, actually, you will see that this is the default. So you can manage actually uh, from here from printing preferences. You can use uh, what is uh, default, what is uh, base size, for example, that says that you want something like uh, A4 or whatever the size, and you can press OK. But make sure that everything is fine because this is a default that will be used for all your uh, documents that you have uh, here. So if if you press like uh, print, if you have an like an actual printer, it will it will print automatically. But because in my case I don't have a, a real one, it will just use a, a PDF. Uh, printer. So here is uh, it just trying to 
give you like a prompt bit from for each file that you want to save so just uh for the files that you want to save you can actually uh, use like a kind of output but in reality if you have a real printer they will be printed directly you will not see all of these dialogues but these dialogues because i'm using the virtual uh printer adobe pdf so it just converts any file to a pdf file so that's it actually it gets me back here for files and so on for all of them they will be uh printed So now after printing all of them, you'll see this message that the printing is done. So you can press OK. And that's it for this video. And see you in another video. Thank you.